Welcome to geometry. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started with lesson one. Uh, lesson one, just going over the basics, uh, basic definitions within geometry that you'll need to use uh, throughout the book. Um, first, I just want to define what a point is. It's not really up here. Well, let's look at point C. A point, the definition for that is uh, it names the location but it has no size. It is represented by a dot labeled using a capital letter C, for example. So this point is simply labeled C. Uh, a line is a straight path that has no thickness and extends forever. Uh, there's an infinite number uh, of points that lie on a line, but you need at least two points to have a line. To be able to create a line. Um, so in this line right here, uh, we have three points that we've labeled on it. Now there's infinite num infinite points on it, but there's three points that we have labeled on this line, A, D, and B. <clears throat> when they are all when you have points on the same line, they are referred to as collinear points. Uh, so an example of collinear points here would be A. D and B. Non-collinear points is, okay, say this is the line we're referring to. Well, you see that point C is not on that line. So that would be referred to as a non-collinear point. So C would be a non-collinear. Now many of you are probably thinking, well, there could be a line from here to here. Yes, there could. That could be line AC making D uh, non-collinear to line AC. So yes, that could be true, but uh, hopefully you understand the definition here of collinear points versus non-collinear points. So let's look at example one, just to show it a little bit further. Example one just says, what are two different names for line? Well, how you label a line uh, is you can use two of the capital letters, <coughs> such as CD, and then on top of it, you have to draw a line. Now notice, I drew arrows on each side, each uh, side of this line above CD. If you drew it like this and didn't have arrows, that would be a line segment. And that is different than a line. We'll get into that later. Um, or if you only had an arrow on one side, that is actually called a ray. But uh, point being for now, you need arrows on both sides. So you could label it CD. Also, or any other, you could label it DF, uh, you could label it FC, CF, whatever you wanted to do. There is one other way to label it, and that is with this lowercase letter here. We have a lowercase letter Y um, there, so you could refer to it as line Y, uh, although it's probably going to be easier and more detailed to use one of these two. So I would stick to using capital letters uh, most of the time. So those are two different names for lines, for the line. Now, uh, part B says, what are three non-collinear points? Well, let's actually do this one first. Three collinear points. Which three points lie on the line? As easy as it gets, all right? This is just, this is just bonus work right here. C. D and F are the only three collinear points on line Y. Uh, that's easy right there. So uh, those are three collinear points. Now three non-collinear points. You would use any of the two points here. I'm going to go ahead and use C, D, and then the main thing that you would have to have is making sure that you add E in there to create non-collinear points. So C, D, and E would be examples of non-collinear points. Um, you could have C, F, D, D, E, F, any of those. But that is, uh, that is lines. Line is created by two points. Now let's look at planes. A plane uh, is <clears throat> a flat surface that has no thickness and extends forever. Um, and it is represented, you have to have at least 
three non-collinear points in order to have a plane. If you have everything on one line, that's just a line. Until you have uh, three non-collinear points, you do not have a plane. Um, so, uh, since there are three non-collinear points here, you therefore have a plane. And in order to, uh, what you could do to name the plane is you could say plane uh, A, B, C, like so. Or you could say plane, notice the capital letter here, and they kind of give it a little cursive look there, but you could also call it plane P. Either of those would work. Uh, and just real quick, some common objects that are planes, just to make planes is always uh, a little tougher for people to understand. Some common objects that are planes, well, one would be uh, this wall right here. This whole wall is a plane. Uh, the floor is a plane. Now notice the wall and the floor, uh, those are separate planes. One is going down, one's going horizontal. So you can have planes going in different directions uh, and they can extend forever. You can also have coplanar and non-coplanar lines. So let's look at example three. Um, <clears throat> let's see, coplanar and non-coplanar lines. Well, coplanar lines, you can probably guess, M and N. Those are both lines within plane W. I'm going to call it plane W. Non-coplanar lines, notice how line L has these little dot or dashes. That means that it's not strictly on the plane. That means that it's going through, it may, it, it's trying to throw, show you two-dimensionally that it's going through a different direction. So since it has these dashes or dots, that means it is not on the plane, therefore non-coplanar. So line L would be an example of a non-coplanar line. Um, and that, that's all you have for planes. Now I just want to talk about intersections briefly. Uh, Intersection between two lines is always a point, okay? Intersection between two lines equals a point. You're just going to have to know this throughout geometry. So, therefore, you have line AB, line TD, their intersection, obviously point E. Intersection between two planes, all right? Let's call this plane M and plane N. Intersection uh, between two planes is a line. So that's, the, that's different. Intersection between two planes is a line. Think about the wall, uh, sorry, this wall right here, and the uh, floor. Their intersection is the line that is between them. So therefore, the intersection between line N and line M, or sorry, plane N and plane M would be line Q. And so that is intersections uh, between a plane, and that concludes lesson one. Just some basic definitions to get geometry started.